I should have bought some milk. How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Flames Plays and today we are checking out The Walk, an indie horror game available over on itch.io. I will link in the description box down below and I do want to thank the developer for reaching out to me about this game and telling me they released it a week ago. So if you haven't noticed, I've missed the past two videos because I've been dealing with COVID, but I am alive. Still a little under the weather, but generally good enough to talk and have my voice sound all garbagey. Go ahead and click on play and jump right on into the game. It was late at night. I was driving on a secondary road to visit some friends who lived in a remote village far away from the everything, from everything, not from the everything. I had been to his house a few times in the past, and the route was very tiring. I was already very tired of driving when I was passing through a tunnel and heard a loud noise coming from inside my car. Seconds later, smoke started coming out of the front of the car, the hood. I got out of the tunnel and pulled to the side of the road to see what had happened to the car. Every time I pause for a sentence, it's like, no, there's more. Just don't. After looking for a while to see what had happened, I realized that the engine had suffered severe damage and I would not be able to continue driving. I thought, what bad luck I have had. I will be late to my friend's house. When I realized that I was in a town very close to my friend's house, I decided to look for a place to sleep tonight in this town called Nominal Town. <laughs> That's... <laughs> I'm sorry, is the... T There's not... Like, you don't call Philadelphia, Philadelphia City. You don't call Utah, Utah State. Unless you're talking about the college, I guess. Is there a Utah State? I, I assume I, I assume there is. It's, I'm sure some like college football fans gonna correct me. Okay, we're we're in the game now. My car is nowhere to be found. I have no flashlight. Oh, there's a notification here. E. What the hell? Okay. Uh, oh, R. What? How do I, how do I read? How do I read note? I think I put it back upside down. Oh, oh, okay. I gotta. I need to find a flashlight as soon as possible. Okay, so you have to hold R. Also, we wrote that note and threw it ahead of us. It seemed kind of weird. <laughs> we wrote the note, ran over, took a piece of gum, stuck it to the pole, and then ran back. And I'm like, okay, now I can pretend like I found it myself. I gotta find a flashlight. Car here. E. Oh, perfect. I can steal someone's flashlight. Well, I guess I'll read the note first. Find a place to stay overnight. Okay, so this is their, their objective system, which I have to turn on the flashlight. Awesome. Everything's illuminated now in a small circle in front of me. Um, This is one of the things that always like tripped me up too, trying to figure out how to convey a story. Uh, rather than do this, uh, maybe some logic that would have the character just say it like have this elsewhere but like behind the house so that when you hit a certain trigger it's like oh uh you need to find a flashlight as soon as possible instead of having to read a note that just magically appears in front of us this is our car oh that was the tunnel why was i so far back from it? okay not not trying to criticize the game a little bit i am but I, I, it's not like you know trying to be mean criticism i'm trying to be constructive of course I don't like to just be mean for the sake of being mean. I like to, to give ideas, share opinions and thoughts on game development and horror in general. If I see a bad movie, I'll let you know why it's bad. Why I didn't enjoy it much. Who is this dude? Why does it look like he just bought like a 12-pack of Bud Light from a gas station and is about to go park in front of a school? Uh, he's a blind man, okay. <laughs> Hello, stranger. What are you doing so late at night on the street? How did you see me? Hi, my name is Matt. I just had a breakdown on my car. Also, my car stopped working. I just had a mental breakdown. Just, no! <laughs> oh, that sounds really bad. By the way, my name is Cooper. Okay. He gave us his name Cooper. Is it going to change the title for him to Cooper? Nice to meet you, Cooper. Do you know if any chance, if by any chance there's a motel I can stay at tonight? Awesome. Great work. Love that little, that little, mm, that little touch. 
I'm sorry to tell you that there's no motels in this town as, as it is very small. Ah, I'll have to keep walking then. May I ask you where you want to go? I was on my way to a friend's house at the end of town. Mm, strange. I completely forgot to do a voice for Cooper. My bad. Mm, strange. I think your friends are fooling you. Why do you say that? At the end of this town, there's nothing. What? I already been to my friend's house several times before. Son, I don't know if it's because you're tired or what, but at the end of this town, there is nothing. I am telling you there is. Well, as you wish. If you want, you can stay at my house overnight. I'll make waffles in the morning for us. N no, no thanks. I don't want to be late with my friends. As you wish, son. Be very careful around here. There are a lot of crazy people. Thanks for the advice, Cooper. Bye. Goodbye. Have a pleasant day. <laughs> I go into Cooper's house. No, I, I just assume this. I'm gonna be honest. I just assume this was Cooper's house. He just—you could just be standing in front of it for fun. He's like, yeah, this is how this is how I like to spend my Friday nights. I just stand in front of a house and make people believe that this town has nothing at the end of it. The hell was that? Making noise over there? You got something you want to tell me? Didn't think so. Didn't think so, game. Playing spooky noises for fun and profit. Oh, no. R. I'm very hungry. I need something to eat. Okay, let's see again. Or even just have like what I'm what I'm doing right now on my game is I have an invisible um dialogue participant that I the character talks to, talks to. In reality, it's just the tags and not the tag, the data being read line by line as like the character talking to themselves. Anyway, uh, I got to find some food. There's a snowman. Hell yeah. Come on, I can't take it. Can I buy that? I want to buy your snowman. It's a coffee maker, Krups. Wait, so Krups? Is this supposed to be a K-Cups, but it has beans at the top? Okay. All right. Um, oh, this dude. But we know Darwin's name already. Welcome to my store, stranger. Hi, I saw the store open and I got a little hungry. Here you have a wide selection of things to eat and drink. Thank you. I will take a look at it. When you're finished, come back to pay. Understood. That, I, yep. I completely understand how commerce works. I'm I'm gonna buy an entire box of cereal and just eat it in front of Darwin. I didn't buy a drink though. How am I gonna wash this down? Oh, we better buy some milk. Um That's all you need? Yep, these cereals will take away my hunger. By the way, where are you heading so late at night? Going to a friend's house at the end of town. Walking? Yes, my car broke down. How unlucky. Yes, I know. Thanks for rubbing it in, Darwin. You said you were going to a friend's house at the end of this town? Yes. Why? At the end of this town, there's nothing. You are the second person to tell me the same thing today. In the past five minutes. I don't know what you're getting at, but I'm warning you that nobody had dared go to the end of town for a few years now, kid. And why is that? It is believed that five years ago, a demon possessed a man who lived in a house hidden in the forest. That's just a legend, right? Well, no idea, but nobody dares to go to the end of the village in case something happens to them. I don't think anything will happen. It will just be stories to scare children. Well, a year ago, a girl who decided to go investigate was never seen again. That's scary, but I don't think it was because of something demonic. I'll go my way. I should probably just left town. This place sucks. As you wish, but be careful out there. There are a lot of crazy people in town, especially now that it's nighttime. Uh, thank you very much. How much do I owe you for the cereal? It will be $4. Here you go. Have a nice night. Thank you. You too. Can I... I bought the cereal. Okay, I was going to say, I bought the cereal. Give me my cereal. I didn't buy a drink, though. Should've, I should have bought some milk. Oof. What the fuck just happened? I think I'm going crazy around here. God damn. Okay. Thanks for the screen overlay. That was great. From this point in the village, there are no more street lamps on the street. Why could that be? Oh, yeah. What do you know? I thought that there was something blocking it, but this is a weird shadow. Alrighty, well. Cool. Guess we're just... 
going down this slow, spooky, dark street. I should walk on the sidewalk, just saying, now that I think about it. I mean, that's where the rustling noises are coming from, but... Oh, what's that? There's a video camera inside the car. Shit, the flashlight ran out of batteries. I need that camera as fast as possible. Yep, better break in. Okay. I have to turn on the ca- Oh my god. And now I- I- I'm gonna be honest. When I saw the camera, I thought it was gonna be like a flash photography kind of thing. Similar to the scene in the first Saw movie. Where Adam's in his an apartment. But, uh, did not expect night vision. It's a hell of a, uh, camera. To have night vision enabled. Also, I can't take this down. I'm just stuck in green mode for the rest of my life. Oh, I thought there was something there. <laughs> oh, you fudrucker. Garbage should be dumped here by all neighbors. Did, did we... S this is what I mean, though. Like, now that this is a note, I don't know if we said that or if the game... Or if somebody wrote that. Let's, uh, 1920, yeah, it's 25 frames per second. Don't think that's accurate. I'm actually recording at 60. I try to keep 60 at all times. Although, to be honest, some games that are high perform or high visual, I'll uh, tune down to 30. Hello? Lady, are you okay? Shit, move, lady. Ah, fuck, my head hurts. Shit, I think she's dead. What the hell? Everything was a lie from the beginning. That blind man warned me about this. Also, that man in the store warned me about this. What I have just witnessed is that girl who was never seen again. Thanks to the blind man who ran over the demon, I'll be fine now, right? Right, isn't it? I'm sorry, the... The blind man <laughs> drove a car? Okay. That's what we got hit. Alright. I I need to check one quick thing before I uh, say anything. Alright, I just wanted to see the um the developer's man hit by car. Oh, that was the the sound effect for it. Um I, I, I did want to check to see if the developer released any other previous games, I, none of which I have played. Uh, going to be honest, some developers, I just don't remember playing their games. To be continued, also, um, the resolution's kind of messed up for the widget. I think it's because I'm running it. I think that widget was designed for 1080p, and I'm running this at 1440, so it showed the uh, borders everywhere. But um, it's not bad, I will say. It's not it it played and it was not buggy and it had a few good scares i will say that but um yeah just for the future development and stuff like that maybe figure out a different way to convey information to the player and kind of work on story cohesion that was cool though i did i did like that little flicker and it shows up i'm always a fan of um dynamic menus but uh yeah let me know what y'all thought about the walk like I said before, I, I enjoyed it. It wasn't bad. Free game, of course, so I'm always a lot more positive on those because a lot of times it's someone just doing this out of passion. They're not completely in it for the money, which is fantastic to see someone's art like that. But uh, yeah, I just, I'm looking forward to seeing how this developer grows. But if you enjoyed it, let me know in the comments down below. Give me a thumbs up. I really do appreciate that. And also make sure to subscribe so you updates for release, release new content. And as always, have a great day. Remember to burn bright. I will talk to you all later. Bye.